All right, so I've changed on the ship a little bit. Um, that mono propellant tank. Got rid of that because I don't have any RCS systems on it. That's the only change I've done so far. The other thing I was thinking about, though, I kind of want to do something with this midsection, the the liquid rocket section, like maybe have either more fuel tank or another mid section, so it's like. Well, I guess it's strictly not necessary because this is getting my one person capsule up. So maybe I'm good here. I just like a little more velocity up there. Yeah, what I'd really like is just another row. Another row of thrusters. Um. Also. Can I skin this? I haven't really looked around much. What else do I have here? Ionographer? A container module. might just break this here, find another fuel tank, and just make it a little more fuel. That might be all I really need. Is that a T-800? I think it is. But I want a different color. I want it to just be white. Let's do that. Same concept, just a little bit taller. Let's try that. Let's save this as ECO3. ECO3. Launchpad. And... Let's see... Go! Vectorable do that at the bottom of this. That might be nice. Uh. <laughs> Can I fix this? And I 
fix this. Why don't I just do that? That's not horrible. What's, so what am I doing now? That's not the world's nicest orbit, but I can probably fix this. Now, I, I want to go down. Actually, no, let's do that, and let's do the wrong way. Wrong way. So that's north. Oh, I'm heading straight north. That's not what I want. Where's east? Uh, this is. I'm gonna abort. Revert to launch. Let's have Jeb fly this time. And the full throttle. Go. Yeah, this is still a little wobbly. Maybe another set of wings, or maybe I'm just too, too tall for what I'm doing. I'll just do this. This is close to what I wanted to do. Right now. A little bit of a rotation. Let's get to about a hundred. And then I'm gonna kill the engines. more than enough to be outside the atmosphere, which starts at 70. Uh, and when I get closer to the apoapsis, I will start a burn again to widen this up. So, right about. Widen out my orbit. Give me an actual orbit. So 
that's not too off kilter. Definitely not perfect. But it's not too bad. Especially considering how the first time I ran that was basically going full north. Just let it burn out my liquid fuel. Okay. Alright. So is equal three. Very much like Eco 2, just marginally less bad. And still bringing up our orbit. So I'm getting to the point where I can pretty easily orbit. Now the question is, what do I want to do with this ship? We've basically proven that this is a decent orbiter guy. Let's kill that. Let's What's my perhaps it's like a hundred million. Hundred and a million? I guess. Okay. I guess the planet's bigger than I thought. So, kind of what I was thinking this ship is good for, like this kind of a design. You know, it's kind of just. Okay, you're up in orbit now. And here's this one little person. There you go. And if you want to, like, transfer to, like, any, anywhere pretty much in the two moon areas. Like, the moon or Minmus. It obviously is not really meant to, like, land and come back. But this would be, like, a good little, like, you could imagine, once I get a station up here, this is the kind of thing you might want to just uh, transfer between from station to station and find a little ship like this. Just a little ion engine enough to like tweak your orbit and intercept something else. Um, yeah. That's something I don't know how to really do yet though. It's like, like uh, so for example, this white orbit has a uh, module I can dock with. I don't know really how to do the orbital changes yet. I need to read up on that to bring in basically I want to make this more circular and match up. I want to intercept this guy. But I don't know how to do that. What's very little in do? I'll just experiment. Let's do radial in. Full burn. What's happening? Apoapsis is coming in. 
perhaps this is. Actually, it's going out. Is this circularizing my orbit? Or is this doing something else? 103. I think this might be working it. So radial in. I need to Google this. <laughs> This might be what I want to do. I might have accidentally hit the right button. I assumed it was one of these. And radial in sounds like what I wanted. Is this still going? Yeah, that's still going up. And that's going down. So I think this is like circularizing. I think is the right word. Or maybe that means something else. Circularizing sounds like make a circle. And not a giant egg. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Yeah, so that's still going down, and that's still going up. So I started playing this very recently, and I've been meaning to for years, but what finally got me to go into it is I'm trying to make my own space game, kind of just as a hobby in my spare time, with little I have, and uh, originally I was not really thinking too much about like what the non, basically non-FTL travel would be like. Or even if there would be travel. And the first one of these games might literally, you don't even fly the ship, you just happen to be in a ship or a station. But now I'm really starting to think about, like, having actual proper orbital mechanics. And as far as I can tell, Kerbal is one of the most approachable for this. So, like, you know, I've done physics and I've done orbital calculations but this right here is just like well for one thing it's been years and for another thing that doesn't really give you just the feel for it right you know like you get the math for it but like the, if you know just like the intuitive okay I hit this button what's actually happening to my orbit And this is actually helpful. This is where this is where computer games can often be better for learning things if it's set up actually to be a learning tool, which this pretty much is. You know, obviously it's a toy; it's still a game, but it is actually vaguely realistic as far as the orbits go. Now, lots of it's not realistic, like so. <laughs> These uh, ion thrusters, this is like the weakest engine in this game, this Kerbal game, and it's a thousand times better than the real ones, so it, the real ones are even worse for that. Like, it's got a really high specific impulse, but like no thrust whatsoever. And the real ones are even worse for having no thrust. It's like literally like a thousand times the thrust in the game of a real one. Those ion thrusters are used to like keep satellites vaguely in a 
halfway decent orbit, and that's about it. Yeah, so I think radial in is what I wanted to do. It's kind of like, it looks like it's rounding out my orbit. And it makes sense that my parapsis is going up and my apoapsis is going down as it makes it more of a circle. Okay. So I do that, and then I probably go to actually get... And so at some point, the parapsis and apoapsis would be equal, and I'd have basically a perfect circle orbit. And then I could bring down my orbit, and that's probably what I need to do. If I wanted to, like, intercept this guy. Oh, and I'd also need to fix this tilt. Let's do that, actually. I'm going to set this as a target. Set as target. Cool. So I'm... And then I've got an ascending and descending node. And those are both wrong. 8.6 degrees off. I don't remember how I fixed that the last time. Basically, when you're close to the descending node, you want to vector one way. You basically want to... Hmm. I think it's the normal. Normal goes you up. Anti-normal takes you down. So if you're at this one, you want to go up. And if you're at the other one, you want to bring it down. That's how I fix that, but I don't do that until I'm right about there, right at that node. Here's an annoying thing, like if I time warp, it's not burning anymore. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn this down. I want to confirm that that's what you do here. So I think I go to the descending node or a little bit before it, start a burn. Uh, actually, I could do this right now. Let's just do this right now. Go to the normal because I'm in the vicinity of it. Go to the normal, full throttle. How's my descending node going? Yep. Yeah. 8.5. I'm not being very efficient right here because I'm way away from the node, but it is having the desired effect. 8.4. So that's flattening my orbit versus the target's orbit. orbit. 8.3. One. 
That's what you do to fix this angle. Set as a target, get your descending node, get your ascending node. You vector to the normal to bring, well, as you're approaching, kind of like as you're right around the descending, and you vector to the other way, the antinodal, on the other side. Wherever it is, here. Ascending up. Well, this is still slow. That's the thing that's kind of annoying about this. It's like this ion thruster is slow. I need to put something on it such that it lets me... Like, if I could put four of them, or f like a five, of you know, a little one in the center and four surrounding in a circle or something like that, quadruple the power output, that'd be cool. Quintuple at that point, yeah. Because I'm multiplying my velocity by 5. Which means I think I'd be just straight up doing 5 times better at this. As far as speed goes. Six degrees of separation. I'm starting to lose power. I guess I'm getting in the dark a little bit. Oh, because I'm on... I'm on this weird angle. Okay. So this is a problem. Like, if I'm going face on, I get. I'm generating more power than I consume. But here, I am slowly dropping. But hey, good thing I doubled my batteries. Gives me a little bit more leeway. Oh, yeah, almost 5 degrees. Maybe I should fast forward the YouTube video <laughs> in these parts. I might do that. If I feel particularly motivated. It's kind of relaxing though, just uh, watching the orbit plan. This is where I think in space a book would be nice. 
I'm just like, yeah. Slowly pay attention to the descending node, landing it out. It's already getting lower, so they're better. Yeah. But that's like 3.5, whereas it was 8-ish when I started, so I'm more than halfway there. Okay. Now here's where things get funny. Like I'm approaching the apoapsis? So maybe I should stop worrying a bit about my descending node and worry about uh, bringing in my orbit. Because if I go to the apoapsis and I run, I think, retrograde, I'll bring in my orbit. That might be what I want to do. See. Although I'm getting so much closer to to flattening it out, the difference between my tilt versus the orbit targets of tilt. Now I'll just finish that up. Just get that right, and then worry about that later. Because I think it works better when I'm over here anyway. Since I'm closer to the apoapsis, I probably want to go retrograde. And so retrograde means that. So basically, a butt facing into the circle. And then burn. So they're both going down. Yep. Oh, but you know what I can't do? I just realized something. This thing has a docking doodad. I don't. I can't dock in this. I guess I can EVA. But I'm not even good at EVAing. EVA, like, there you go. <laughs> like, I haven't really played around with EVA much yet. How do I board B? That's something I need to t <laughs> to figure out. So yeah, I think I think that thing that in the other one, I think it's got a little docking section, and I think there's a docking unit I can attach. So I probably want that actually. I probably want to change this ship up quite a bit because I want some sort of like docking thing here, probably like. So probably keep the crew hatch, keep the crew, keep the heat shield, so basically keep this bit, and then immediately after, or, I don't know. I want to be able, I want to basically be able to just dock in, like ideally right up at the front, would be cool, like, you know. But that's a, mu that's going to start being a much bigger ship, whereas this is sort of just like, this little capsule, which is kind of what I was wanting. Yeah, you know, just like 
What's the smallest one? Like a space car. I basically, yeah, that's the one I want. I wanted this to be a space car. You know, a one man space car. Or one Kerbal, I should say, space car. Like, what's the smallest thing you can do? <sighs> I guess once I do EVAs and understand EVAs, that's a reasonable. This is a reasonable thing for that, but. Yeah. Or I could put an arm. Yeah, if I put an arm, I could grab the station and pull me in. Maybe. I think they've got like a cannon arm type thing. I don't know. That was my parapsis. Oh, that's getting too low. I probably need to bring it back up. Oh, you know why that happened? Because Jebediah was the one flying and then I had him walk out. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's try and fix this. So they're at... That's about to mash up. So 79, 80... That's... That's close enough. Let's flip this around now. I think actually on radio land now. Just at this point. Oh, I'm right at the. I just passed the epilapses. Another hour to get around again. Just... Why is my apolapsis going up? Eh, that's all I want. I'm gonna go back to fixing this descending node. Negative two. Negative one point nine. Negative one point eight. Thank you. 
Only one degree off now. Okay, this isn't really doing much good. Let's settle that down. Let's warp time. I think I want to get... To much closer to here. Okay, I need to go back to there. So let's go up. Is this now fixing it? Because I'm right at the descending node. But it's still pretty far out. Half a degree. Point four. running away from me. There you go. Zero. The orbits are flat to each other. Now the next thing I want to do is pull up my parapsis. So... I think I do that this way. Yep. So I'm near the parapsis. Or periapsis, I should say. And I am burning prograde. Is that messing with my apoapsis? It did. It is.
what happens if I radial out right here? This is going in, and that's going out. So that's maybe really what I want to do. Because at this point, I basically just want to make the circle roughly equivalent. Target and anti target do. What's target do? I guess it's burning me straight towards the target. I guess that'll eventually get you where you want to go. <laughs> Probably if you're much closer. I'm going to have to watch a tutorial video on intercepts, I think. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Jebediah float up here. And I'm going to go watch a video on intercepts. Figure out what I'm actually doing. I only vaguely remember what I'm doing. From astronomy class probably 20 years ago now. So let me refresh myself. Refresh my memory. See you later.